Hello everyone, Paul from OrthoEvalPal here. Today I want to talk to you about some little tidbits of information that can make doing a, a Lachman test easier. Okay, The key, get your patient into a nice relaxed position, make sure they're, they're kicked back, they're not stressed out about this. Um, when you pull the leg up into this position, okay, you don't need to squeeze the leg. All right, It's just basically taking them up into 25, 30 degrees of flexion. You take up some slack from the calf here, and I like to rock them a little bit so that rhythmic rocking helps them to relax. Okay, then I'll just take them up into this position, support the femur, and give a nice little anterior pull. I like to pull up toward my chest, nice and perpendicular, so go ahead and relax. We'll do it again. Okay, here we go. There you can see all the play, grade 3 instability as a complete ACL tear and a, uh, a meniscus tear also. So. Relax the patient, get them to not fire up those hamstrings, talk to them, ask them questions maybe so they're thinking of something else while you're doing it, and then go ahead and do your test. You're looking for an end point, okay, remember it, an ACL is kind of like a cord, you want to get this little snap, 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 and when you don't get that, um, then you're, you have to be suspicious of an ACL tear, and then you're looking for the amount of laxity there. So what I want you to do is I want you to um, tell me what you like best. So in the comment section, um, write down or just, just put in there which ACL test you like the best. Do you like the pivot shift test? Do you like the Lachman test? Or do you prefer the anterior drawer? So one of those three, tell me what you like the best. Thanks.